next unit. Okay. Now, this is the formulation. My a future output Q step can be computed from this formulation. And that formulation is, if you look at that, the past output involves alpha 1 Q, alpha 1, alpha 2 Q minus 1, and Q minus 1. And then I have this future input. That's future input. I have this kind of coefficient you can compute it. And again, this is what we call recursive formula. What do we mean recursive formula? Recursive formula means this Q can change from Q equal 1 to whatever Q we want to have. Q equal 1 means 1 minus 1 is 0. Alpha 2, 0 means alpha 2. So. Alpha 1, 0 means alpha 1. And if you do that, then you will be able to compute a recursive way from whatever number you have. Q can be whatever number you want it to be, and we call this a recursive formula. And that, that, that it means, means this. If you do this, now that recursive formula, I just, I'm just going to give you an example here, and this is very easy to program it. Now, if you do this, alpha 1, then q1, say q1, equal to uh, alpha 2, and 0, parenthesis, minus alpha 1, 0, parenthesis, and alpha 1, that, but alpha 2, 0, parenthesis, means alpha 2, minus alpha 1, alpha 1. Okay. Now, the alpha 2, means alpha 2, uh, 1, parenthesis, uh, minus alpha 1, then 1, parenthesis, alpha 2, because my alpha 1, parenthesis, I computed already a sub in there. So, now, my alpha 1, 3 is simply alpha 2, uh, the uh, 2, minus alpha 1, 2, then alpha 2, my alpha 2 computed already, so I just put it there. Understand that now? So, that is the computations. It's very easy to compute. You are beta the same way. You are beta 0, princess 1 the same way. So, that is the combinations. Now, when you program it in your computer, uh, the as soon as you get the first one, then you get a second one, you got a third one, and Q can be as long as you want. Any questions? Simple as per questions. So this is what we call recursive. And recursive means I can be one, then I can be two, because of it. that's what I found one. I have, I, have, I have two, then I can compute three. I can compute four, I can compute five, I can compute six. Because I just need previous. All right, now for the computer two, I just give example for first one, the second one, the third one, and third one is the same thing. All right, beta is the same thing in computer. That's what we call recursive formula. Recursive formula means, again, if you compute the first one, you can compute the second one, you can compute the third one, and so on. Okay, the other is the same thing. And uh, the input the same thing, the, the, the beta computers the same way, beta zero the, uh, computers the same way, and so on. All right, now, uh, what is the significance of this? Uh, the significance of this is, is this. That's the significance of this. Now, 
if I put my future output in one column, if I put my future input in one column, I put my past output in one column, I pass my uh, past, I, I put in my past input in one column, then those matrices I can compute it. Agree? Those matrices just follow these formulations, and you can compute those matrices. What does this mean? If I have my output available this, you have my input, the past input available of this. If I give you my future input, I will get my future output. That's just what it means. Understand? My Q can be as small as I want. And I put SP here. All right. And uh, I come, I say, okay, my U only up to HC minus one. Uh, my other, other, other U, I assume they are zero. Can I do that? I can do that. But you don't have to do that. Because you input, future input is the one I can assign it. I have control of it. The only output I don't. Because that's a system response. How can I say, hey, you want this? Okay, on the other hand, I say, if I give you the future output, my desired output, can I compute my desired input? My net? No, not the desired one. Can I compute my control input? This, I cannot change that. Pass the output, pass input, the pass output, that's passed already. Pass input, that's passed already. I can't do anything about it. But my future output. If I say, I give you my future output, that's what I want. That means this equation will, this equation will allow us to compute what kind of input I need to get my future output. Can I say that? All right. So I define that equation like that. This is, I define a simple equation that, that T represents this matrix. Uh, that UK represents my future, my future input. And uh, then that beta, that beta, that's my matrix here, all right? And then that U, the, the past input, that's my vector there. And then I, I define my past, my past, the output is YPK minus one, all right? And then I, then, uh, then, then that's it, right? And A. Where's my A? All right. A is here. Is that? And I also assume my HC here, the cut short here, means I don't want to have the whole future input. I want to be short. Yeah, I can do that. Normally, I don't, we don't do that. Normally, HC equal to HP. That's a normal uh, uh, situation we got. So that is the equation that equation we like to see. All right, this is matrix, that is matrix, this is also matrix, this is we compute it from recursive formula. A, we compute it from recursive formula. B, we compute it from recursive formula. And that's my pass input, that's my pass output. I don't know my, path, my future input, I don't know my future output. But they do have relation on that. Okay. Understand about these equations? You got to understand this equation before I go on. If you don't understand this equation, I can't go on. 
Also you are totally confused. Any question about this? Okay, no. Maybe maybe just rewrite these equations. And we know that's current future. Here's the current and future input. That's my past input. That's my past output. Agree? What 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 is the control mean? What do we mean control? Why you can't learn the control? Huh? What do we mean control? What do we mean control? Why do you come to here to learn the control? Why? If I define this, You think that's, that's true? If I, 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 I define a control, that means I want to search a control history to reach a desired output history. True? Right? So your feedback, your state feedback, what does it mean your state feedback? Because uh, when you have a state feedback, you want a feedback so that my output is what I want. For example, my output, my, uh, my, my cross loop is the desired eigenvalues. That's my desired eigenvalue. Desired eigenvalue give me the desired time history of output. If this is you agree, then I give the formulation here already. I say my y hp places k, that's my future output, this is my future import, that's my past input and my past output. Now if I give you my desired output, I should be able to compute my desire, my my my, my control input, my true. I give you a relationship between the, the uh, future input and future output and past input and how past output. And uh, we know T, we know P, we know A, we know U, P, K minus 1, we know Y, K minus 1. All right. So, if that's the case, Y the uh, SP K uh, equal to D U H C K plus B U P K minus one K minus B right minus A Y B K minus B in general, we set SP equal to HC equal to P. That's in general we do that. From here, T B. A, that's computed 